Bruh, like this is Kung Fu Panda. What what are you what are you guys doing? Hey guys, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to the Cinematic Reviewer. Today I'm gonna be talking about Kung Fu Panda 4. Now I know there's a lot of people who really did not like this movie, whether they thought it was mid, bad, awful, whatever, but I do have some unpopular opinions being this movie is good. You guys are just mean. Like, I had fun. I had a great time. I knew some people before I saw it in theaters did not like it, but I disagree. I am not saying this is the best Kung Fu Panda movie we've gotten or the best movie in general, but I had a very fun time with it. I definitely enjoyed it. From the trailer, I really did like Zen's character. Just from the character design, I really liked her. I know Aquafina being the voice, it is a little like, meh, but I liked it. I liked her character. I thought it was pretty good. And I have to be honest, I thought it was interesting. There was one other review I had seen, and someone had talked about how Jack Black was still the best. And I have to be honest, at least from the start of the movie, his voice seemed to be lacking. Like, it almost seemed like Jack Black was tired. Now, of course, his, his energy got more up and coming as the movie went along, but at first it really was like, it seems like he, he's taking a break from this one, so his voice was definitely not, at first, the winner for me. Now, with the chameleon, Viola Davis, she is amazing. She is so good, but voice-wise, with all that Viola Davis did, she was awesome. She's always really good in a menacing, villainous role. But I just feel like with the character choices they did with the chameleon, I wasn't feeling it. Like, in Kung Fu Panda 2, you had Shen, and he was so intense. Like, multiple times you could see, like, he could easily kill Poe. And I know in the third one, I haven't watched it in like a million years since like it came out, but I do know it was like really hard for him to beat. And with this one, it just didn't seem like the stakes were all that high, at least in terms of how long it took for them to defeat the chameleon. I just wasn't really impressed with it. But I'd say this movie is not so much about the adventure or the kung fu fighting the fighting itself, but I'd say it's more the character dynamic between Poe and Zen. Like, I thought that was pretty good. I, I definitely was into it. I definitely was enjoying it. Yes, it was pretty disappointing that the Furious Five was not in the movie. It's like, yeah, where are they? And then we start with the critics, directed by, and there they are. It's like, bruh, like, this is Kung Fu Panda. What, what are you, what are you guys doing? So, I definitely understand the criticisms and I can definitely relate to some of them, but I was not bored in the theater. I was not angry while I was watching. I was very happy. I was glad to be watching a movie I was having fun with. Like, this is fun. This is good. It's not amazing. It's not spectacular. It's not terribly awful. I enjoyed myself. And I think also, because of the other two movies I've seen in 2024 being Madame Web and then Damsel, sometimes a movie that maybe is not the best can just seem a little bit higher lifted. I did like that part at the end where all the villains from the spirit realm were watching Poe and seeing what he could do as their dragon warrior and also as a spiritual leader. I thought it was cool! When, at the end, he's about to send them home, and then Tai Lung and everyone else does that. Like, I thought that was cool. Maybe for other people they didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. I thought that was a cool... I, would, I definitely thought that was a cool part. I do have to be honest, some of the characterization in this movie definitely felt a little off. I felt like this time, Poe... Like, obviously he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but it was like he was excessively naive and just not it, it was a little like you can't be serious and I get that it's supposed to be how sweet he is and how genuine he is but it is a little like come on I mean I really do I really do enjoy Jack Black a majority of the time in like all the movies he's in but this time it just felt like like I said, more in the beginning, it just seemed his voice was off a little tired, but 
I still enjoyed him. It just took a while, a little bit longer. And also, here's what I think also really takes the cake for me that I really enjoyed this about this movie is his adopted dad and then his biological father, their team up and then, you know, coming to help him and everything. What was really good about that is it helps me appreciate the biological father because I hated Kung Fu Panda 3. I did not enjoy it at all. I have not seen it since back when it came out in 2016. I just did not like it at all. And I know part of it was his character. I just didn't like it. So this time it was really good. They they redeemed his character for me. I, I was more able to warm up to him and everything. I just had fun. Yes, the jokes were not that good. I definitely can see that. It, it just was, like I'm saying, there are definitely some flaws to it. It was not a necessary movie. We didn't need another one, but I had fun. I definitely thought it was nice, you know, to be there in the theater watching it and everything like that. So the point being, I did enjoy the movie. I also see its faults, but I still liked it. I still definitely had a good time. My consensus is it was a fun movie. It was a good movie. It was not great, amazing, anything like that, but it was not how a lot of people have been saying, oh, this is such trash, it's so bad, it's so mid, it's, it's fine, it's fine, and I had fun. Now I did forget to say this, what I also thought was kinda a choice was the fact that Zen is actually the one who defeats the chameleon. I mean, I know Poe did like the major work of it and he wanted to give her a chance and that's kind of why she becomes the apprentice that she becomes the dragon warrior. But I thought it was kind of, you know, you expect Poe to be the one to conquer and, and be the one to defeat. So like, it's not a problem to me, but it was, it was a little like, I was like, wait a second. So, this is not me saying it was a flaw or I had a problem with it, but I definitely thought that was, like, interesting. What I also enjoyed was uh, getting the little Kung Fu Panda 4 trading card. I still haven't opened it yet, but I definitely should. But I was definitely happy about that. And honestly, with the movies that have been coming out, there's not too many I'm interested in. So the next time I go to the theater is probably going to be in, like, May or June, so it's not gonna be for a while, but I definitely thought this was cool because I went to the theater, I got this little thing for free, so I thought that was cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to see the other movies I have seen in 2024, that's gonna be Madam Web and Damsel over here if you'd like to check those videos out. See you guys next time!